I think we are good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about bone and joint health, and because bone and joints are a very key thing, and just a bit of the bones where they are found around the ribs, around the the hip area, the hands and the feet, and we're just going to talk about this joint health. And I just want to give some statistics that uh, by the year 2020, which is about two three years ago now. Half of the Americans aged over 50 years and older were at risk of, of getting fractures from osteoporosis and low uh, bone mass. So as we age, our bones become thinner and we get what we call low bone mass and especially for women. And these are just statistics from countries that are able to keep statistics. I think in Africa, South Africa is probably the one that is leading in keeping statistics, but most of our, our countries on this side of the world do not keep statistics, so we don't have up to date. But by the time most people get 50 years and above, they actually have some challenges with their bones and something we call osteoporosis. And we're just saying some of the things that cause joint pain because when you've got issues with the joints, you probably will suffer from pain. Uh, there's a breakdown of cartilage. Cartilage is that small outer soft part that is found, especially for those of us who like to eat chicken. It's just around the bone area. When you break a bone into two, you find a small, a small, uh, a part that surrounds the bone area it's soft not really not really uh like uh, meat but it is very soft and you can actually be able to bite it and then of course loss or the regeneration of bone uh, because of excess bone scar tissue uh, bone imbalance resulting in wear and tear so our bones there's wear and tear and then of course overweight and obesity and we are just saying that that gives us a problem my screen has not gone to the next one let me just uh it is not moving, just one minute. Let me stop and share again. I, I will know what has happened. Let me just stop and share again. Okay. One minute. Uh huh. Just a minute for that. My cars are not moving, sorry. Wow. Gotten a bit of a link there. I don't know why my car is not moving. Uh-huh. Okay, I think I'm back. Okay, there we are. And uh hmm. I don't know why my screen is not moving. And my screen was misbehaving. So I'll go back. Okay. So we're just saying that uh, our first part, of course, is the provitality. And we are all distributors. I know we know about the provitality. And those are some of the things that provitality will do in your system. And then we are just saying that there's three supplements for bone and joint health, which I'll display all of them and then we'll go through one by one. We've got the Calmag, we've got the full motion, we've got the salmon oil plus, we've got the full motion, those are the, like the very basic key, and we've got the provitality box. So the provitality I already showed you, and so we'll go through the rest in the time that we have. And we're just saying that uh, the nutrients that are needed for a strong bone, and those are some of the nutrients especially that is found in Calmag, which is our first key product for the joints. And we're saying that calcium gives the raw material for bones and teeth, and that uh, magnesium is important for strength and maintain of healthy muscle function. So that's why we've got our calcium, magnesium, and the two work together. And we're saying that if you don't have enough calcium, you're going to get especially issues with your bones and teeth. That's actually how you know. And especially for women, we women need calcium supplementation actually as early as nine years. Uh, because our bone mass tends to reduce as we go along. We build bone until about 2025. By 30, our bone mass has already started reducing. And so we needed to build it early enough so that it can maintain us even as we grow older. And uh, women, especially when we get expectant, we actually lose a lot of calcium because the whole bone formation of a child will come from your bones. And so if you don't have enough calcium, it will show in your bone structure, a uh, very thinning of the bones. And of course, pain, joints and aches, pain. Uh, some women complain of uh, teeth that are getting rotten and they are, they are forming all sorts of holes in the teeth. It's because you're not having enough calcium because the whole bone, is, bone structure of a child then will come from your body. 
And then, of course, if you don't take enough calcium, you're also going to get challenges. Uh, the best people to see the shortage of calcium is actually very old people. And you realize that there's a lot of space between the teeth. Because if you don't take enough calcium, the body will not compromise. It will actually take it from your system. It will take from the teeth that are there and the bones. And no wonder as we get older, it is easy for women to get what we call bone fractures. If they fall, it is very easy to get a fracture. So the older people, you realize the gap between one teeth and the next is, is getting bigger and bigger as they get older. And it's because the body will actually have to get the calcium from the teeth and uh, just to be able to cope because calcium does a lot of things in the body. And our calcium also has got vitamin D and vitamin D actually helps in the absorption of calcium. Actually ours has got vitamin D3 and vitamin D3 has also been shown to help in things to do with immunity. And so it is very important that you have calcium because if the bones are too thin, then they're going to give you a problem. So that is our calmark. And then of course there are other key nutrients that are found uh, that help in the bone structure. And these ones are mainly found to do with um, uh, the full motion, uh, we've got things like zinc. Zinc help to promote growth and uh, clarification involved in collagen synthesis. Collagen, if two blocks, collagen is like if you're putting a building, the, the cement that is found that is holding two blocks together, that's like collagen. The thing that holds the cells together, that's what we call collagen. And then there's something that is called baron. Baron it reduces calcium loss and uh, bone uh, demineralization, that means minerals getting less in the bones. And then the silica, you don't have to know all these names, but it's just to know that there are things that are found in these products that help to support the bones. And then there is omega-3, that is an anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory is the extra pains, the swelling that we get in between the joints, that is actually what we call inflammation. Now, I'll just now go down, especially for motion, and tell you, especially full motion, apart from those products that I've shown there, has got something, the key product is called glutasamine, glucosamine. And I remember for a long time, we were not able to get registration of, of uh, full motion, especially in Kenya, because they said this glucosamine is medical related. And almost all, actually all joint uh, products have got glucosamine, but of course ours is a key one. And we're just saying that glucosamine, which is the key ingredient in full motion, it helps to slow down breakage of cartilage because when you get a joint uh, pain, it's actually the cartilage has worn off and the fluids in between the joint has worn off. So when bone and bone rub together, then you get the pain. It's like two metal parts rubbing together without the grease and that is actually where the pain comes in. So this glucosamine helps to build and repair and regenerate cartilage to reverse the osteoporosis process. So osteoporosis is where the bones start getting thinner and thinner and thinner and with time, they're actually very, very thin. And so that is why we say that if your bones are very thin, then getting a, a fracture or like they say, mostly women fall and here she broke the hip bone. It's because of this process of osteoporosis where the bones are getting thinner and thinner and therefore they cannot support the body. And then glucosamine also helps to reduce pain and other symptoms. And then it is quickly and efficiently absorbed. What is it in glucosamine that gives it all these facilities? There is something we call the three advantage. First of all, uh, glucosamine is a has got a herbal uh, uh, has got some herbal products that are named there, which we don't have to go through all of them. And then it also regenerates mineral complex. It's an exclusive uh, uh, blend of uh, zinc, baron, and silica, like I mentioned in the first slide. And then it's got what we call the three D advantage: disintegration, dissolution, and dispersion. Disintegration just means that it is able to break down very easily in your system, just to break down easily. Dissolution is just the ability to absorb, to absorb into your system. And this dispensation is the ability to be able to move around with a lot of ease. Uh, to disperse means to be able to go around maybe an object with a lot of ease. So full motion has got those very key uh, benefits. And then of course, uh, omega-3, uh, omega-3 salmon oil plus, and those of you who have been in the business long enough, maybe if you are new, you might not know, but our omega-3 has got uh, eight molecules. The usual omega-3 that we find in the markets mostly has got two, and this, this our omega-3 is omega-3 salmon oil plus. The salmon fish is found in the cold uh, continents where there's cold waters, whereas in the African continent or the warm areas, we find what we call cod liver oil. 
So the two are different in the sense that omega-3s are actually eight molecules and the cod liver oil usually they'll only maybe be just two, two of them, EPA and DHA, which are just two molecules. And uh, <clears throat> when a product doesn't have all that it's supposed to have, it is not as effective. It's actually like um, uh, throwing down your money when you don't get the right supplement. So our omega-3, very, very key with the eight uh, omegas that are eight molecules that are found. And the omega-3 actually puts back the fluid into the joint. Remember we said that the fluid wears off and when the fluid wears off, it's bone wrapping against bone. And so omega-3 puts back this fluid. So it makes it flexible and comfortable for the joints. And then the biggest thing it does, is actually reduce inflammation. In fact, our omega-3 reduces inflammation in eight weeks. That is actually very, very fast. And apart from joint and health, of course, now that we are talking about bone and joint, omega-3 makes joints very, very flexible. And even for expectant women, um, I had a very interesting experience for myself. Uh, when I conceived because I'd been using the products before conception and after because I'd been in the business, and one of the things that happened to me, because I really did use omega-3 and uh, calcium a lot, in fact, I was so focused and so determined that I used to carry omega-3 and calcium in my handbag that if I forget to take for whatever reason I would take when I was expecting Angela, who now turns 21 this year. And one of the things that I remember that is very amazing, and sometimes I, I almost get scared of sharing because it almost seems too good to be true, is that with Angela, I actually never experienced uh, labor the way you ought to. Because with my first two kids, I actually had been put on a drip because I would not get no more labor pains. But with Angela, and I know it is because of the supplements, because I did use them a lot uh, before pregnancy, during pregnancy. And I remember that with Angela, I went to, I went to the labor ward. I didn't even get the pain that I'm even opening up. And I remember the doctor telling me, I'd done a lot of work and uh, I remember that day, a friend of mine uh, said that uh, you need to go and see the doctor today. I'd done my distribution and she said, you can actually give birth on the road. And I told her I'm not feeling anything. And because she was an older woman, I just decided to go and be checked. And they said I was actually opening up. I was already three centimeters going to four. And I was telling the gynecologist, I'm not feeling anything. So he quickly wrote a letter and I went to the hospital. And what I did that night, I remember I took my uh, Kalma got night and slept. And believe you me, in the morning, what woke me up was when the water broke and Angela was out in 20 minutes. I mean, I used to take a whole day just being put on a drip. I mean, from eight in the morning and I would give birth like at 10 in the night. So I strongly believe it is this omega-3 because it must have worked on the joints as the opening up is taking place. And I just get amazed at how these products can work. So very, very good products. And I believe it was especially because of that calcium and omega-3 that I was able to open up with ease and even give birth in a very, very short time. And uh, I've had friends try that and uh, they've given me the same results. And so I believe that that is actually true. So omega-3, very, very. And so uh, the requirements for maintaining a very good uh, joint health, good nutrition for the joints, you need your provitality and your life shape. Your life shake, we say it helps to repair, uh, to repair, uh, to repair and rebuild uh, cells because cells die and new cells form. So there are cells for the skin, cells for the eyes, cells for your whole system. So different cells take different period of time to die and new ones regenerate. And so especially the new life shake helps in that formation of new cells, the old ones dying and the new ones coming up. So uh, repairing and renewal of cells very very key on the Neo Life Shake. And for me, I remember in as much as I knew the products, I think I'd never taken the Neo Life Shake very, very seriously until we got Dr. Esiza on board and uh, just talking or her talking and uh, telling us how important Neo Life Shake is. I think that's one of the products I'll not miss in the house. Actually, no, I'd rather take a quarter scoop than not take it at all because I've just realized how important the Neo Life Shake. So we need very, very good nutrition. You need to do regular exercise. We say be your own best challenge. And when we say exercise, you know, some people think they've got to go to the gym. Not necessarily. We're just saying that uh, you need to be active. Physical activity, uh, especially for us ladies, we tend to get lazy as we get older. And especially when we've got children, we're always sending them to the kitchen or around the house to and fro. And we're just saying those simple things. Just walk to the kitchen, get a cup of tea. If you're watching something on the television, maybe you need to 
put your remote somewhere a little bit fast so that it forces you to wake up and move. And if you're taking a, a taxi when you're traveling, maybe you alight two or three stages from where you should alight. Uh, use the staircase instead of the lift. For me, I like to use a skipping rope because I found a skipping rope, I can carry it with me as I travel. And with a skipping rope, you need a very, very small space to be able to do it. So just do some exercise regularly. And the young people are very advantaged these days. I can see that the music they have really makes them exercise. I don't know if you've watched some of the music and the dancing. It's so vigorous that by the end of it, in as much as they're enjoying themselves, they're actually exercising. Swimming is also a very good exercise. In fact, swimming is one of the best because swimming exercises your whole body from head to toe. And so choose the exercise that you're comfortable with, that you enjoy and make it regular. We say minimum three times a week, 15 to 20 minutes. And we say you've exercised if you sweat or there's a change in heart rate. So you need to do regular exercise because when the joints are at least used to movement, then it is easy for them to be flexible. Uh, flexible. We say what you don't use, you lose. So that is why if you sit for a very long time, when you wake up, you feel like you've got an issue with your joints. So it's very important to have regular exercise. And then weight management. Um, if you've got weight, you're really gonna have weight, uh, you're gonna have uh, joint issues. And it's basically when you've got weight, it's like the body is a balloon and the bones are like a pin. So it's like a balloon getting supported by a pin. And so the pressure on the joint is so much. So if you've got, anybody's got weight, then they need to manage their weight. Otherwise it will be a problem because of the pressure on the joints, but this whole body mass that is there. And we've got an excellent weight management program. In fact, I call it the last weight program that you'll ever use last because it is not something that you have to keep on using. And once you get your ideal weight, you can actually manage it with a lot of ease and comfort. And, and then it is also a very health program. In fact, when you're on the weight program, I think that's when your family eats the best because they can actually eat what you eat. So very, very important that you manage your weight. So that means you look at your BMI and those sometimes you use the waist, to, the waist uh, uh, ratio to be able to determine our, our weight. So it is important for you to keep the right weight. You need to manage stress. And these are some of the products that will help you manage stress, the CalMag, Omega-3 Salmon Oil, Your Life Shake. And also there you could add vitamin B complex, very, very good for managing stress because vitamin B comes the nerves and you're actually able to sleep very, very well. Uh, so vitamin B is another very key product that I haven't added there, but I think it's very, very important when it comes to managing stress. And then of course you need to rest and sleep well. We say sleep six to eight hours, uh, uh, that on the minimum, that's how much uh, sleep you need. Uh, at least a minimum of six and to a maximum of eight hours, uh, nine, eight hours, that would be good and enough sleep. I think I just want to go back on one of the slides just to clarify maybe something, especially on the CalMag, because I think I'd go a little bit faster on that, on the CalMag and full motion, just to get some few facts a little bit right. And I just want to show you how um, that looks on the, just a minute, sorry, my slides are misbehaving today, a little bit of thing there, but we're going to get there. Just to say that the, if you look at that picture, you can actually identify, especially with this middle one, that there are many people who get that kind of a structure. This is actually an X-ray to just show you how the bones are behaving. And you can see already from the joints, the challenges that are there and on the hands and on the leg joint that we are having here. And I just want to go back maybe to a little bit, I think I went very fast on the calcium, just maybe to give a bit more details. I don't know why my screen here yeah, on the calcium. Let me just go back there on the bottom a little bit and just say that, uh, like we said, calcium is very, very key. Now calcium has got a ratio we call two to one, two calcium to one magnesium. And usually calcium works very well when it is supported with magnesium. And sometimes you get um, that there are a few things that I want to talk about our calcium that makes it very, very exclusive. First of all, it is GMO free, got from natural things. I know that there are people who get their calcium from the coral reef. The coral reef is found around, along the coast areas like Mombasa. There's something we call the coral that forms around, are, along the coastline. And some people actually get their calcium from the coral reef. And what is so unfortunate about that calcium? Because it is not natural, it's synthetic, your body can actually not digest it. 
And when we get supplements that are synthetic, they leave deposits in the body that the body cannot remove. So one of the key features about our calcium is got the ratio of two to one, two calcium to one magnesium, which makes it to be absorbed very, very easily. And then the support of the vitamin D that promotes in absorption of the calcium. There are three, there are three uh, minerals that are known as stress minerals and they are difficult to absorb, but they are needed by the body in small percentages. But when you don't have them, you're gonna get a challenge. The three are actually zinc, iron and calcium. So those three items in your life, I have been, I've got something we call chelation or chelation, depending on who your English teacher was. So the chelation process, they've added some amino acids to the product so that it is easily absorbed into your body. And I found people who maybe have said, or oh, maybe this calcium is expensive compared to what they get in the market. And I've actually asked them to go ahead and use the calcium that they are thinking is better. But with time, they actually come back and they say, you know what, when I use this calcium, I feel different. It is very much because of that chelation ability that makes it absorb easily into the body. So our calcium absorbs very, very easily into our body. The other thing is something we call bioavailability. Bioavailability just means what percentage of the product you're using is going to get utilized in your body. And your life products are done very, very well. At least 80 to 90% of our products, when you use them, they actually get into your system. And then vitamin D has been found to be very, very key. And I've actually realized that uh, most of the African, uh, the Africans need more of the vitamin D, which we find from the sun, because of our melanin, our skin, our skin type needs more of the sun exposure compared to a white person. And I've actually realized that most of the people who send students abroad, especially the African students actually get into depression. And do you know why? Imagine it's just because of the sun exposure, because out there it's so little. There are countries which nine months in the year, they've got no sunlight at all. They get it in like three months. So you can imagine in African continent, we've got the sun from January to December, 365 days a year. So actually the vitamin D, very, very important. So apart from helping it in an absorption, it also helps to reduce or actually help one manage, especially with depression. I thought that is very key because many people send their children out, out there in Europe. But you find that these kids, because nobody has talked about it or they've not been made aware, you find that the, these children have actually got a problem. It's just lack of the vitamin D. So that D3 in our product, very, very key. So those of us who've got friends or relatives who we send out of the country, please make sure they at least get the vitamin D in our calcium or they get it in the vegan D that we have already. And you can also add other products to that bone health because we've got a vegan D. Vegan D is a vitamin D made out of uh, vegetables because there are people who don't do meat products. So the people who in the community prefer to get their nutrients from the vegetables, they can use the vegan D. And then we've got actually a magnesium that is on its own separate, so you could actually add that. So make sure that the people you, we send out, especially out of Africa, they need to go with a vitamin D, either in calcium or the vegan D, or they can get it in vitamin A and D. And I think with that, I wanna stop there. I know we are just a little bit earlier, but I think it is good for us to stop there.